Hi guys, in this video we are going to see how you can install GreenShot on your Windows 11 PC. For those who don't know, GreenShot is a screenshot taking tool that allows you to take screenshots and edit them if necessary and then save it on your desktop device. So first of all you need to download and install GreenShot. So I'll just grab this link, paste it in my browser and once it loads I'll click on latest table here and the exe file will be downloaded on my device. So once it's done, I'll just double click it and the installer should pop up. Once the installer pops up, I have to click yes on the UAC prompt and then click OK. Select your language and click OK. And then I click accept. I accept the agreement and then click next. Then you're going to select the destination location and then click next again. Click next again and then click next again and then finally click install. Once the green shot setup is installed, you have to click finish and then you can start using green shots. How do you use green shot? You either press the print screen key or function plus print screen. So to know how to use green shot, let's let me show you here. So I click on green shot here and then I'll select one of these options. Capture screen, capture last region, capture window, capture full screen or capture window from this. I can, as you can see, I can capture any of these windows. So first let me show you how to capture region. So I click here. As you can see there's a huge magnifier here that I can use to you know, precisely capture the region. So once I'm done here capturing, I just release and I'll see a bunch of options here. So I can click save as, save directly, open in image editor, copy to clipboard, send to printer and various other options i'll just show you how you can save it by displaying a dialog so i just click on save as and then give it a name if you want to click save now i'll go over green shot again and i'll show you how you can capture a window so I'll just click here and then let me show you the editing features of green shot so green shot has a ton of editing features that you can use so first of all there's the rectangle tool so I can just draw a rectangle here. It's been filled. So what I'll do is just uh, fill with the uh, transparent plan. So this is the rectangle tool. You can also draw squares using this same tool. Just you need to align that accordingly. You can also draw circles or ovals if you want to. So as you can see, there's a shadow here. So if I click on this option here, the shadow will be dropped. I can also change the color and thickness. So if I click here, I can change the color. So let me just select blue and click apply. So the color will be applied. I can also change the thickness here. As you can see, I can drop the thickness. I can undo stuff. I can copy this. So if I, I have selected the oval right now. Now if I click copy here, here's the copy option, copy. And then if I go over here somewhere, and click paste so see that's being pasted i can paste it over and over again no you cannot so let's go back here and let's draw a straight line so you can also draw straight lines here like this if you want to there's a shadow by default if you want to remove the shadow just click on the drop shadow icon here next up you have an arrow here so if you want to point out to something like just draw an arrow here again if you want to drop the shadow just click here next we have the freehand uh, tool so you can draw freehand like this and that's it you can also change the color thickness from the menu bar here next up we have a text box so if you want to write something use the text box uh, first i need to enlarge this yeah that's right write something so you can adjust the color so just click on the pencil icon here and then select red maybe and then orange then hit apply and this is how you change the color of the text box you can change the font let's change it to something else you can change the size of the text you can make it bold italics you can align the, the text left right and center you can also change the thickness of the box if you want to next up you have a speech bubble and you have all the options here similar options that you had with the text box so you write some text here and then you can change the color, thickness, font, size, alignment, and add shadows and everything. Next up, we have counter. So this can be useful for annotating your screenshots where you have to showcase some steps or something. So I'll just click here one, step two here, step three here, step four here, like that. 
and then we have the highlighter so you can highlight certain areas of your screenshot let's say i want to highlight the logo so this is how you do that next up we have the obfuscate tool that means you can you know uh, blur or censor things on your screenshot suppose if you want to censor this link here so just select this and it will be obfuscating next up we have the effects tool so you can add a border so this is how you add the border next up you can uh, you know add drop the shadow so add and drop shadow to your screenshot i guess and then you have to have the torn edge effect so your screenshot will look like torn on the edges as you can see here then we have the grayscale effect so this will turn your screenshot grayscale with no colors to so note that this does not apply to your annotations only to the screenshot that you took initially original screenshot next up we have the invert color options so this will invert all the colors that means white will become black and so on then we have the crop tool you can crop your screenshot accordingly so just select this and then release once you're crop done cropping just click on the check mark here and your screenshot will be cropped to the selected area next we have the rotate clockwise option and the rotate counterclockwise option finally there's the resize option you can adjust the size of the screenshot by pixels or by percentage you can also choose to maintain the aspect ratio when it's being done so when you are once you're done just click ok and your screenshot will be done okay then we have a few options here the same options that you would see after taking a screenshot here that is a save as save directly copy to clipboard to send to printer microsoft office apps here ms paint upload to image and then close if you want to edit the screenshot in ms paint just click ms paint and the screenshot will be transferred to ms paint and now you can uh, edit here as well so if you want to do that you can do that once you're done you can just hit save here and the screenshot will be saved to your device locally but what if you want, don't want to send it to microsoft office and save it directly so for that uh, click on save as displaying dialog give it a name and click save so that's how you take a screenshot on green shot and edit it and save it on your device so if you have any further questions let us know in the comment section below thank you for watching